Hey, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is Sunday, October 26, 2021, and it is time for the daily COVID-19 analysis for your for your country of Sweden. Okay, I have one. Uh, first of all, a big shout out to the eight people who watched the video yesterday, and especially the five younger folks who watched it. I have one one, one favor to ask today. If you find support useful, they click the like button uh, next to the video. Okay. So let's go and run our numbers on Sweden. And of course, as we all know by now, Sweden has, sometime during the summer, Sweden, for reasons of, which haven't been made clear to me, explained but not made clear, they decided to switch from a seven-day reporting week to a four-day reporting week. So now the only, the only important COVID-19 data, Tuesday to Friday, and they're adding Saturday, Sunday, Monday's numbers on the Tuesday numbers, which produces an artificial spike, as you'll see in one moment. So, uh, so what do you do? So let's just take a look now, we'll come back to the, question just one moment okay as you can see here <laughs> okay, my dad's watching a very old musical called The Music Man, okay? Anyway, I'm kind of, uh, I'm listening to someone in the back. It's uh, Anyway, so where are we back? We're back in Sweden, right? Okay, so anyway, let's take a look at Sweden. As you can see this doesn't look good, does it? You're, you're, you have more cases in 2021 than 2020, and you, still have two, you know, and you still have two months to go, right? What about this? Well, here's the good news. And there's more good news to follow, okay? But anyway, the chances are your COVID-19 deaths will not catch or pass the 2020 deaths at this point with two months to go, okay? And what you can see here, sometime back around May, your cases that your cases started to decline again. The the the, the red spikes are the are the Tuesday numbers, so it's car, it's kind of hard to guess what the actual numbers are by day because of the Tuesday numbers. Okay, so what we're interested in this is something around May, I believe. You begin to have a long declining pattern, and. You begin to have a long declining pattern in cases, all the way down to here, 272 cases before climbing back up, up towards the end of July. But now it appears that the numbers are beginning to fall back down again. Okay. Okay, as of October, as of October 25th, for the 14-day period in October 25th, you were averaging 439 cases per day. As you can see here, the, your deaths begin to decline back over here. Long declining pattern, low numbers during the summer, but apparently somewhere back over in here, they went back and they found a few uncounted deaths from like the middle of August or something like that. So they, they added these numbers back over here, I believe. So this, this this spike here could be a little bit, could not be the actual daily numbers. It could be plus daily plus other numbers. And they kind of leveled off before beginning to decline back down a little bit. Now, as we take a look here at deaths,
so what you see here is a, as of October 25th, you were averaging 4.5 deaths per day. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good number. Uh, monthly, uh, uh, weekly cases. Let's just swing on down here to monthly number, shall we? Uh, well, you can see what happened here. Your monthly cases, Sweden, are still pretty doggone low. This number here would be 25,000 for the month. Okay. What about this? Well, look at look at the look at, you know look at this. You had a, a one, two. We had a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row. You your deaths declined, Sweden. Before you had this little hookup back over here in August, September. Okay. So that takes care of your report for today, Sweden. By the way, before I let you go, if you uh, if you find the support helpful, by all means, I'd appreciate it if you click on the like button next to the video. Okay. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow with a with a new and updated report.